overlooked danger on the road. Guardrails are meant to protect drivers from danger, to keep them from falling off a road or to cushion them in a wreck. They can reduce serious injuries up to 47% when they're installed correctly. But when they're not installed correctly, experts say they can turn from life-saving devices to killers on the road. Reporter Kristen Crowley shows us how big the problem is and how little is being done to fix it. For most parents, <laughs> it's easy to talk about their kids. Well, he was a good looking kid. He was a pretty good athlete and he was very smart. But most parents haven't lost their child. Just full of life. Like Joey Beck did. Why did it have to be him? I would rather it than me. Seth Beck died in 2019 after crashing into a guardrail on a stretch of highway in Missouri. Crash scene photos from investigators show the mangled steel lying in the road. Seth's car, unrecognizable. The top of the car was ripped right on the welds like a can opener. So From the guardrail? From the guardrail went straight through all the way out of his car. Before your son's crash, had you ever heard of any issues of people dying after hitting guardrails? No. But some experts. This one happens to be a, a case in Illinois. Like attorney Kent Emerson. Where a man was killed. Who has handled more than a dozen guardrail injury and death cases, says it's more common than people realize. This is the, the face plate, the end terminal here, and where it elbowed and went through the car and, and killed a man. Emerson says these cases span across the country where guardrails have speared vehicles, causing serious injuries like leg amputations, or worse, killing people. Several people were killed in Missouri, near Columbia, Missouri, uh, when the uh, guardrail went right through uh, a GM Tahoe. And in many of those cases, he says the guardrails were installed improperly. They need to understand the amount of technical finesse that goes into a guardrail design. Brian Kuhn is a crash reconstructionist who's inspected hundreds of guardrail crashes for attorneys and has a doctorate in engineering. The problem with installation of guardrail is it looks like nuts and bolts and you just assemble it, but it actually does require training. But the federal government does not require training and doesn't have standards for who can install or replace guardrails, saying that decision is up to the states. Private contractors and DOT workers often do the installation and repairs, but that's not always the case. This lawsuit filed in Florida alleges inmates repaired a damaged guardrail improperly, causing a man to lose his leg after he crashed into it. Is it safe to say that there are tens of thousands of guardrails on the roads right now that are misinstalled? At some level, yes. Could the federal government do something to make guardrails safer? Absolutely, absolutely. They could require more inspections. They could require more testing. More inspections is exactly what a transportation research group urged the Federal Highway Administration to do, saying every guardrail should get a comprehensive in-service performance evaluation. That was back in 2014, and Emerson says that still hasn't happened. Until it does, he says deaths from improperly installed guardrails will continue. How well known do you think this issue is among most Americans? Almost no one's aware of it. <laughs> but the DOTs, they know. They know. The manufacturers know. They know. The FHWA knows. They know. Absolutely. And now, Joey Beck knows just how catastrophic this device meant for safety can be. I always thought guardrails are there to protect you from your car rolling over here or going in the river. Now what do you think about them when you see guardrails? It's death. Federal Highway Administration, which is responsible for making sure our nation's roads are safe, declined to sit down for an interview with our national investigative team about the country's guardrail system and the calls for more inspections. It would only say each state is responsible for its own roads.